Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. We're now about halfway through May, and that means that we are officially in barbecue and cookout season. Today's recipe for pineapple glazed pork kebabs is going to blow your mind. These deliver on both flavor, ease, budget. That's three things. How can I say both when it's three things? You know, whatever. They're good. So hold on to your kebabs, because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. If you are using wooden skewers, start soaking the non-pointy end now. We will start with the glaze. Peel your knob of ginger with a spoon. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then Hulk smash it to release those beautiful aromatics. Dice up that onion. Give a gentle banging to the garlic with the palm of your hand using the side of your kitchen knife. This will make it much easier to peel that skin off. Clean it up and give it a rough chop. Doesn't matter how you cut the chili, just make it smaller. In a small pot over medium high heat, add your oil. Toss in the onions, garlic, and chilies. Let them sweat for just a minute before adding the pulverized piece of ginger. Cook it for another minute before adding the salt, water, rice wine vinegar, brown sugar, and crushed pineapple. Give it a quick whizzing with the stick blender to smooth it out. Full disclosure, I wanted pineapple juice. They didn't have it, so I improvised. I will leave two glaze recipes in the description and you can choose what you like best. Bring this wonderfully fragrant brew up to a boil. Drop the heat to a simmer and reduce it by about 25% until it thickens up. Grind up those whole spices. You know how much I love fresh ground spices. Toasting them in a pan over medium to medium high heat for a couple of minutes ahead of time will release their full flavor potential. Highly recommended. Throw in the salt and pre-ground spices and give it a good fingering. Cube up your pork into roughly one and a half inch pieces. I'm using loin chops because they are tender and have a beautiful fat marbling. Fat equals flavor. Coat your cubes in a good amount of seasoning. I used about three quarters of what we made to season this 1.25 pounds of pork, maybe just over. Mix it up well and set it aside. Cube the onions and peppers into uniform pieces.
time to start poking. There is no exact method to this mayhem. I just like to alternate meat and veg. Now fire up that grill and get ready for some good old meat glazing. Charcoal is king when it comes to grilling. Launch those kebabs straight onto the grates. If your coal bed has a height adjustment, you want it about halfway up. Hot, but not crazy. As soon as we start turning them, we're going to start layering our glaze. Oh yeah! Layering the glaze like this will prevent our spice rub from burning and let those sugars caramelize and stick to the meat. So don't be shy, come get you some glazing. Ooh wee, look at those kebabbers. Get yourself some rice or maybe some quinoa and lay your skewers over the top. Give it one last glazing and save some glaze for the rice because damn, that stuff is good. Enjoy, my friends. Boom! I told you that this recipe delivered on flavor, ease, and budget. Start your grilling season off right with this recipe. This glaze is good on everything from burgers to cocktails. If you don't like the meat, switch it out. If you don't like the veggies, change them up. You can't go wrong. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. It really helps me further this channel and keep these videos rolling for you guys. I can't thank you enough for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.